Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Starting off this video, there was a tweet posted on Monday by the Kennedy Space Center Twitter account. It says, save the date, NASA and SpaceX are targeting August 28th at 3.37am Eastern Time for the 23rd cargo resupply mission to the space station. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft will deliver a variety of science investigations, materials and supplies to the orbiting laboratory. I wanted to share this article about something the satellite policy director at SpaceX said earlier in the month. It says, in his latest presentation, the SpaceX executive outlined to the FCC that the internet service can scale up operations to provide coverage to 30 million Americans who currently completely lack internet coverage or are underserved. Somebody posted a tweet saying it's one month to the launch of the Inspiration4 on a SpaceX Crew Dragon. Has anyone seen the modification to the docking ring into a window? Any photos? Jared Isaacman responded with, we have been tracking it from beginning. Design and testing in Hawthorne to the systems and training procedures to the flight ready hardware that shipped to KSC. A few weeks ago in clean room, we saw fully assembled module with cupola installed on Dragon. SpaceX is an incredible company. Heading over to Boca Chica, here's a great view of the orbital launch site. Work continues to prepare the orbital launch mount for the first orbital flight. The integration tower quick disconnect arm continues to be worked on. Here's a view of the work progressing on the catching arms at the launch site. At the propellant production site, the cryotank shell construction is continuing. Also, the booster thrust simulator being constructed looks almost ready to go for testing. The new structure we saw last episode continues to be worked on. Michael Sheets posted a tweet saying, a lead engineer of Blue Origin's HLS Lunar Lander team has left the company and is joining SpaceX per LinkedIn. There was an article posted about HLS on the CNBC website with Blue Origin taking NASA to federal court. It says, Jeff Bezos' space company Blue Origin filed a complaint in federal court against NASA continuing its protest that the agency wrongly awarded a lucrative contract to Elon Musk's SpaceX earlier this year. This bid protest challenges NASA's unlawful and improper evaluation of proposals Blue Origin's lawyers wrote in its court filing. Musk gave some information on a change to Starship's forward flaps in response to Everyday Astronaut's tweet about part 3 of his factory tour video. Musk said, by the way, there's a slight error with forward flap design. Moving section is needed for control, but passive section is counterproductive as it pushes nose backwards. New design rotates forward flaps more to leeward and further forward to improve moment arm, maybe approximately 120 degrees apart. Crews have continued to fix Starship 20's thermal protection system tiles at the launch site. Crews have also been preparing the prototype for upcoming testing. Yesterday, the Ship 20 prototype was placed on suborbital pad B for proof testing. Talking about testing, let's take a look at the Cameron County website where originally they planned to close the road today. However, you can see that today's road and beach closure for testing was cancelled. They did also have closures for tomorrow and Friday, but I checked just before recording this video and all the dates have now been cancelled, so it looks like the first testing is postponed to next week. Super Heavy Booster 3 has now been cut up into multiple pieces. Super Heavy Booster 4 work continues in the high bay as they also get it ready for testing. Today, we also have an updated Starbase production diagram to take a look at thanks to Brendan Lewis. Things are progressing nicely at Starbase. As always, I have to thank Mary or Boca Chica Gal who is out in Boca Chica constantly filming the progress at Starbase. Also, thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working hard behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.